everybody, it's Kathy from Sycamore and Cotton. Morning when I arrived, I brought in some of the things that I thrifted yesterday. I'd had an appointment during the day and when it was over, I decided to take a little jaunt out into the countryside to the little thrift store that I told you about a few weeks ago, the one that I had just learned about then. And I actually shared some of the video footage of the uh, landscape that I, I saw on that trip out there and decided to go back yesterday. I wasn't able to get any video footage because unfortunately it was raining quite hard on the way out there and on the way back it's about a 20 minute drive off of the main road and um, anyway I did find a few good things it wasn't a whole lot but once I started shopping and digging into things I was able to find a little bit more because initially when I got there I thought oh no this is going to be a bust because they don't have that much but I did find some some things, a few things, and one that I'm really excited about. So let me start now with showing you um, everything that I did get. I got this little pig. He's not too little. It's probably about 20 inches wide from nose to tail. But um, I know a lot of people out there decorate with farm animals. And anytime I see one, at, which is usually chickens, I get them. This, I think, is the first time I've had a cow and, or a pig. Um, a pig and um, I'm really excited to have this one. I've seen some uh, real nice designs of people who have upcycled pigs and I'm excited to get to do that now. So you'll be seeing it in the future with its new look. Hopefully sooner than later. I have a lot of things I can work on. Um, this carafe is special to me because it brings back really sweet memories of when I was just a, a child of three, four, five years old and we had our milk delivered from the milkman. We got milk, eggs, sometimes orange juice, and even sometimes, and less frequently, chocolate milk. And those were the such sweet memories of, you know, the door um, knocking, you know, the milkman knocking on the door and then we run to the door and he's left our products by the front door and he'll be going back on down the steps usually um and i just i just have that memory um in etched in my mind and it's such a sweet memory so this is not an old milk bottle but it does remind me of those this carafe will be used at our home um, there's nothing you know expensive or old about it that i can tell um, but i like to have um, I like to use these for our juice when we have breakfast. We don't usually sit down to the table during the week, but on the weekends we'll usually one or two, maybe sometimes both days of the weekend, have breakfast together, especially in nice weather when we sit out on the deck. But when the family's home, we all sit around the table or outside as well, and I'll definitely be using it at those times um, especially. This is just a small MDF um, board of F square of MDF board. It might have been a kitchen counter for mica or something. I'm not sure, but it looks, you know, it has that kind of look of an MDF. Um, and I can use this in my crafts for just creating something from it, probably a little sign or sell, uh, shelf sitter. These kinds of frames are coming back in style and it can sit a landscape or a portrait. And it's this beautiful gold a color. It is not brass or any kind of metal. It's actually wood, but I can brighten that up with some rub and buff, print out a nice um, antique looking or aged looking print and put it in that and then sell it. And it also is a great um, cottage core if you are into the cottage core style. I got this little shelf here just um, to use in the shop actually to either attach to the wall or attach to my pegboard and um, and then set you know items on it for sale something that's not breakable because it will be attached to a wall um, but something that it can just add some visual dimension um, to my displays this is a just a crochet uh, dishcloth or washcloth. I got it to use as a dishcloth. I love using these. I actually make these myself, but if I'm going to spend the time making one, I'm going to probably sell it in the shop. Um, so I picked this one up for a quarter to use for myself and it's in perfect condition. So, you know, it's just a little faded and a little misshapen, but you know, it's a dishcloth. So who cares? It still works. I have a niece who's having a baby girl in August and I picked up this cute little um, sleeper for her it's like brand new it doesn't look like it's ever been washed it is a Disney brand 
zero to three months, so she'll be able to use it when she's newborn. But I got it for a quarter, so you know, babies don't stay in their in their clothing very long. They grow right out of it, and especially these smaller sizes like this, they're in just a short time. So why put a whole lot of money into things when you can get more things when you're able to thrift it? And sometimes you get things brand new with the tag. So, um, and this baby dress is this not special? Look at the smocking. And this is definitely a vintage baby dress. Um, probably from the 60s because these were definitely a thing when I had um, when I was a baby <laughs> and I had some that were passed down to me that um, when I was expecting my daughter in the 80s and those that were passed on to me oh my goodness they were so beautiful I don't even remember what we did with them I mean she did wear some of them but they were beautiful cotton dresses with smocking and embroidery and they were at least um, 20 years old when we got them. So these are probably from the 50s or 60s. And um, did I show you? Yeah, I don't think I showed you these. Uh, four of these brand new tag on them, all four of them, placemats for Christmas. Cute. They'll be, uh, I'll be selling those in the shop at Christmas. This is a it caught my eye because of the fabric. It's, um, I'll probably butcher the name of it, Matales, Matales. I'm not um, certain of the pronunciation, but you see bed coverlets made out of this fabric. And it's, you know, it looks like it's a quilted design, um, but it's not really a quilted design. It's more like an embroidered, raised embroidery design. Um, and I thought it was a, maybe for a twin bed or a pillow sham or something when I started to pick it up and then I unfolded it and realized it's got these uh, crosses in the design. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see them. Um, and it measures about 70, a little bit more than 72 inches long and 36 inches wide. So it's quite large. I'm pretty certain that this has been a um, used in a church for communion maybe, perhaps to cover the um, communion tray before it's um, distributed and um, it's pretty you know, it's just it's beautiful and it's in perfect shape it probably needs a little bit of oxyclean to brighten it up but other than that it's beautiful what I had intended to do with it was to cut it up and make little, little bunnies for it for Easter next year or maybe even a bunny bunny cushions bunny shaped cushions but now that I've realized what it is and how good of a shape that it's in I'll, I'll probably keep it and try to you know perhaps um, sell it rather in its um, original state and then two other things or three other things this um, beach towel um, it says American Red Cross got it for a dollar we have a, a small pool in our backyard and our grandson you know he loves to swim when he comes down in the summer and uh, spends a weekend so it's really, you know, we have, we can, can't keep enough to, um, towels, beach towels for that. We also take a family beach vacation um, this summer and, um, you know, we'll, we can use that, <laughs> use it for that as well. Plus I've got a little dog that I could definitely use towels like this for her um, if we don't use it for the beach towels. But um, that's another thing. If you, if you have a dog or a cat, and you need blankets for them, check your thrift stores out because they almost always have blankets and um, towels that can be used for your pets for $1.99, $2.99. We're getting really hard winds and rain again. I thought today was gonna be a pretty day, but what do they say? April showers bring May flowers. I sure hope so. Okay, um, one other thing is this tablecloth. It is a round tablecloth. Pretty large but I didn't get the measurements on it it's in perfect shape no stains that I could find um, and it's in the colors this darker green the beige the white a thin navy blue stripe and then these thin um, lighter green which I would call maybe like a teal uh, maybe a faded teal look but it is beautiful it is perfect for a cottage core style if that's your style in your home but it'll also fit in with a lot of other styles as well 
Boho um, is another, but um, it's beautiful. It's in perfect shape. I would keep it for myself, but I don't have a round table. So the only other thing I have to show from yesterday's thrift haul is this beautiful bag purse. It is a Vera Bradley. It caught my eye when I was actually at the counter paying. They had it at the end of the counter hanging on um, the wall and I spotted it and I thought, oh, that's beautiful. I mean, these colors always attract me. And um, as I look closer, I realized this is Vera Bradley. And then I realized it doesn't even look like it's been used. I'm certain it's not been used. It has a pocket on the back, a zipper pocket. You know, it's not a large bag, but it is perfect for, a, you know, a summer. There's a zipper on the inside as well. Yeah, these have, these have never been, this has never been used. It's, it's brand new. I did pay a little bit more for it than I do most of the Vera Bradley bags that I've purchased, but those have all been used and have shown just a little bit of wear and tear. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So if you love Vera Bradley, this is definitely a real uh, treasure for me to get. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'll keep it for myself because I just tend to carry the same bag all the time. I'm boring like that, but um, I'll probably put it on the Etsy shop. When I start listing things, I haven't started listing things on Etsy again, but anyway, that's all for yesterday's thrift haul. I hope you've enjoyed everything. If you have, please subscribe if you've not already. Please like the film, the video, and uh, leave me a comment. Say hi. Tell me a little bit about yourself, where you're watching from, what you like best, you know, what you'd like to see more of. This is brand new for me to be doing, creating content like this, and I really need to hear from the people who enjoy this kind of content.